Authorities received security threats that a terror attack would target a derby football match due to be played in Istanbul between Fenerbahce and Galatasaray. Istanbul Governorate announced the game's postponement until further notice. According to the Governorate, the decision was made following the request and at the agreement of the two teams. It came after a terror attack killed four people plus the suicide bomber in Istanbul's Beyoğlu district. Turkish authorities revealed that Ibrahim El Bakrawi, one of the attackers behind the Brussels bombings, was deported from Turkey last June. Daha önce Haziran 2015'te Gaziantep'te yakalayıp sınır dışı ettiğimiz kişidir. Sınır dışı işlemini 14 Temmuz 2015'te Nota ile Belçika Büyükelçiliğine iletmişiz. Bu kişinin yabancı terörist savaşçı olduğu yönündeki uyarımıza rağmen Belçika terörizmle bağlantısını tespit edememiştir. The terror attacks by Daesh at Brussels airport and the city's Mailbik metro station on Tuesday. 32 people lost their lives and 200 others were wounded. Turkish security forces continued their anti-terror operations across the country. In a joint operation with German intelligence, Turkish police detained three Daesh suspects plotting terror attacks on German institutions in Turkey. Another 10 Daesh terrorists were arrested in Gaziantep. A suicide bomber carrying an explosive belt was also among those who were detained on Tuesday. Two more would-be suicide bombers, who were said to be preparing to carry out attacks, were detained by security forces in Turkey's eastern Mush province. Operations against the PKK terror group also continued as the Turkish army killed at least 24 terrorists, seizing ammunition and defusing handmade explosives. Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu was in Amman to improve ties between his country and Jordan. The two countries signed 10 bilateral agreements focused on economy, trade, social security, air transportation and job creation. During his meetings with Jordanian Prime Minister Abdullah Ansur and King Abdullah II, Davutoglu underlined the importance of stability in the Middle East. Regarding Syrian crisis, we are facing similar challenges, refugees, are moving towards north to Turkey and towards south to Jordan. And uh, also stability of Syria is becoming more and more important for us as two neighbors of Syria. The two countries currently host millions of Syrian refugees.